Welcome, everyone. So if you're continuing along in the series, we're going to be discussing flows today. If you've sort of just jumped in and are interested in checking out the flow feature within Giraffe, welcome. Um, today, as I mentioned, we're going to be looking at flows. So continuing with this same development on a fig street that we've been working on throughout this series, um, I've further annotate, added some annotations based on the previous video. So if you're interested in that, you can jump back in the series and check out that one. Um, otherwise, we're going to create a new option here uh, and look at some flows. So first things first, I'm just going to create a new drawing layer and let's call this flows. And I'm going to hide my current um, proposed development on the site. So the flows tool is located up the top of the page. So in the drawing toolbar, I'm just going to select flows. And what you can see here, so a flow is an algorithmic based um, model. So it knows a lot of information about itself and it populates that with some simple clicks of the mouse. So we'll see that demonstrated. Um, let's grab one here from the list. There's a number of items here, so feel free to jump in and check them out. Let's say we want some landscape with trees. That's a commonly used one. And I'm just gonna toggle into 2D mode and let's put this park sort of through the middle of my site here. So as you can see, I'm just drawing a rectangle. And then what that's gonna do is through the flow algorithm is go away and it knows some information about itself. So if I now toggle into 3D mode, it knows that it's a landscape attribute. It knows that it has to have filleted edges around the park, and it knows that it has to populate with trees. So we can also control all of these features uh, through the generated features option over on the properties panel. So if I, I've got landscape here, so this is where we can control the landscape component. And we've got the trees attribute here. So this is where we can control the trees. So if I select the trees and let's look at a simple one. So let's change um, the number of trees. So I've gone into the random fill count of the tree property and I'm just going to reduce that to let's say half the amount of trees on site. So it's not so busy. And maybe let's drop that down to 10. And so we can see that dynamically adjust on the map and we've got that flow that looks, um, I'm sort of happy with how that's looking. So that's one um, flow and we're going to continue to explore a few others in this example. And the car park's the next one. So there's a number of types of car parks here. You can select the one that's relevant to you. And I'm just going to select this standard car park, toggle into 2D mode and let's say the car park is over on this side of the park. Again, drawing my rectangle. And so this is the basic geometry that's then going to populate the algorithm based on the car park. So we can see that it knows a lot of information about itself, how it should position those parking spaces, which are all configured through the generated features option over on the left-hand side here. The last one we're going to explore is the residential apartment. So returning back to the flows tool, we can um, scroll down here and there's a residential apartments building. So this one's a little bit different as in it's not a rectangle that I'm gonna draw, but a line. So I'm gonna select the start and the end of the line and straight away it's going to populate this building algorithm, which we can start to see um, some of the differentiation between the typologies within that apartment, which is quite nice. I'm going to toggle into 2D mode and let's say we just want to wrap this apartment maybe around this bend here. So we can click and drag this node like we do with any feature in Giraffe and I can add nodes as well. So we can add sort of a bend here and turn it up that way. So toggling back into uh, uh, 3D mode, we can see that shape transform and we can also control it with Q&A and the levels attribute over in the properties panel like any other usage in Giraffe. So some basic flows there, um, but important ones to enhance your workflow. So feel free to check out uh, more of the flows below. There's some um, great ones in here that the team are continually building out and improving on.